The next phase of the respiratory examination is auscultation. We listen to the chest for normal breathing sounds over the bronchi and over the lungs. Also, try to listen for the presence of added sounds and determine whether these are heard during inspiration or expiration. Bronchial sounds are loud, relatively high in frequency and dominant during the expiratory phase. The expiratory part is longer than inspiration. Bronchial sounds are normally heard over the central airways and near the mediastinum. Increased bronchial sounds indicate lung tissue consolidation, although the airways remain open, for example consolidation due to pneumonia. Bronchial sounds are loud and high pitch. Inspiration and expiration may be heard equally, and there may be a small gap or a pause in between them. You can mimic this sound by placing your tongue on the roof of the mouth and breathe in and out through the open mouth. Vesicular sounds are transmitted over the lung tissues and their peripheries. They are softer and lower in frequency and can be heard over most of the lungs. You will hear them well in inspiration, but only the first part of expiration. Inspiration is therefore more dominant or lasts longer than expiration. There is no gap in between. Conditions which cause airway obstruction, such as asthma or emphysema, cause a reduction in vesicular breath sounds. Bronchovesicular sounds are normally heard anteriorly over the first and second interspaces and posteriorly between the scapulae. Bronchovesicular sounds have an equal inspiratory and expiratory phase. Tracheal sounds are loud and harsh. They are heard in the neck and over the trachea. Generally, reduced breath sounds may be due to effusion, pneumothorax or collapsed lung. Crackles, crepitations or rails are fine non-continuous sounds produced relatively late during inspiration. You can simulate these sounds by rubbing a bunch of hair between your fingertips. These sounds are produced by the small airways if they contain fluids as air is pushed through them. If the crepitations have a fine quality, it may signify heart failure or alveolitis. Medium crepitations are due to infections and coarse crepitations produced by larger bronchioles as in bronchiectasis. Ask the patient to cough a couple of times to see if they clear. This would signify a bit of mucus being dislodged, such as those found in smokers. Wheezes are prolonged musical sounds and are produced by narrow bronchi. These are mostly produced on expiration. They are often heard in obstructive lung disease and especially in asthma and emphysema. Pleural rubs can be simulated by the friction of your fingertips when rubbed together. They are produced by pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, during the early stages of pleurisy, and are usually confined to the localized areas. It is sometimes possible to mistake pleural rubs with the sounds produced by the friction of the stethoscope against the skin or on a hairy chest. Start in a systematic way by listening to both lungs at successive levels and make a comparison. What I'm going to do is listen to your chest, but what I'd like you to do is to breathe in through your mouth nice and gently. Okay, you should listen to at least four positions or levels anteriorly, four positions posteriorly, and two to three laterally.
In addition to the above basic assessment of the respiratory system, there are several other assessment techniques and tests which can be added. Some of these include force expiratory time and peak flow measurements, pectoriloquy, ergophony, combined auscultation percussion, and spirometry measurements.